Hey guys, so today I am doing a bit of a strange video but I'm going to do a half and half like split face and on one side of my face I'm going to do all my lightest makeup products and on the other side I'm going to do all my darkest and some people might take this as racist but I am not trying to be racist and um, it's just because I honestly want to see how different or how similar they'd be because Obviously with foundation and stuff, it's up to how well like I match myself or like how good a product is or like stuff like that. So I'm not trying to be racist. I'm not going to have like a black foundation and a white foundation. They're both going to be similar to my skin tone, just one's maybe darker than another. So that's basically it and I just want to see it. So I thought you guys might too. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to start talking about foundations and concealers that I can get them out. So I think I'm going to do lightest on this side, darkest on this side and for my lightest foundation this is a new foundation um, which is going to be in a haul soon but I'm also going to use it for this video and this is the new Maybelline Super Stay 24 hour full coverage foundation. I got this because I've, I've been looking for a new foundation and I said in my 2017 versus 2018 that I really wanted to try this because one of my favourite YouTubers um, has, has said it's her favourite foundation of all time and she's only been using it for about two months so I really wanted to try it. And then for my darkest foundation side, I've used this in quite a few videos for stuff like this um, but it's in this sporty so energetic natural um, and this is in the shade O2 medium. It's a weird foundation, it's like a moussey texture and it's too dark for me like oxid when I put it on it's too orange but then it oxidizes even more orange. For lightest concealer um, I was so excited to get this because I really 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 wanted this because on Monday Makeup Revolution came out with a conceal and define full coverage concealer and contour um, and this is meant to be an amazing dupe for the heart shape tape because of how big the applicator is and I've watched reviews on it and it's supposed to be amazing. And Makeup Revolution is my favourite brand. And then my darkest concealer is my collection Lasting Perfection. This is in the shade Fair. But what I've started to realise is this oxidises so much. So you can see it on my hand there. We'll come back to it once I finish putting my base makeup on. And it will be a lot, like a really darker colour. So I'll come back to you when I have these on. And I'm going to be using our beauty blender to blend these in. This is the Makeup Revolution one. Um, this is a really good beauty blender and I don't normally use beauty blenders or beauty sponges so I'm going to use it today. Okay, so that's it done and I just thought I'd mention that this is in the shade 05 light beige so it's the second lightest shade and it matches me perfectly. This concealer as well is in the shade C1 and um, so it's the lightest shade. If you just look at the swatch on my hand here, this is a collection concealer and then this is that foundation like it's gone the same shade as this foundation which I think is just crazy. So here you can see the line here this is the darkest this is the lightest i obviously prefer the lightest it's my shade but when i squirted this out on my hand loads of oil came up before the foundation and then the foundation had lumps in it so i mean i don't know what that that was about and you might have also seen in the time lapse i put this foundation all over my face forgetting that i was doing half and half so, so yeah so for powder, my lightest one, my lightest powder is the MUA Ultra Fine List Setting Powder because it's a white powder so you can't get much lighter than that. And then my darkest is this Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 105. Um, this is a powder that I use on a basically regular basis. I really really love this powder but like it is my darkest because the rest of my powders are translucent so... 
and this has a bit of color to it so that is my dark hair I don't really like this powder because that one there then the one because it gives a lot of flashback and also makes your face look quite powdery and chalky so I'm not a big fan of that powder but that is my powder done quick and simple so next I think I'm going to do eyebrows and for that I'm going to be using my collection eyebrow kit in blonde and um, I do use this quite a lot if I want to just fill on my eyebrows lightly and um, so for my lightest set I'm going to be using the lightest colour and then for the darkest set I'm going to be using the black. So there are the eyebrows. I made an absolute state of this one. I just can't work with black. I don't understand how people with black hair can fill in their eyebrows properly. This one doesn't look too bad on camera or in real life actually because my eyebrow hairs are still are like quite dark um, it just gave more shape to them and then it filled it in itself I don't know this one doesn't look too bad this one looks terrible well, let's move on so I think I'm gonna move on to my face and for that we're obviously gonna start with bronzer slash contour so for my latest one I've got this um, Maybelline Master Sculpt, the little highlight and bronzer. Um, the contour in this, it is very light in the pan, but it's, it's also not the most pigmented. So this is my lightest one. And then, oh no, this isn't my darkest one. This is my darkest one. And then my darkest one is in the collection um, highlight and sculpt little kit. Um, I do really, really like this, but it is a lot darker than the one above and a lot more pigmented as well so you do have to be a bit more careful. I'm just going to tell you them all in one go and then apply them. For blush, um, I could have gone with, for the darker one I could have gone with a matte one but I have two very similar blushes. It's the pink with like gold reflex if I swatch them both. There's like, like gold sparkle in it and then the sleek blush in rose gold is basically the same it's just a darker pink color and it's got the same like gold reflex and everything so they're basically the same blush it's just one's a little bit darker than the other and then for my lightest highlight um i've got this elf illuminating palette and it's this one up in the top corner for my darkest highlight I'm going to be using the other highlight, the highlight in this because it's a champagne colour but it's darker. So I'm basically going to apply them and come back and show you what I'm doing for the eyes. So that's my face done. So I did do a tiny bit of contouring, which I normally don't do because I can't be bothered, but I tried. So that's the face. I feel like it doesn't even look that different in the camera. Mmm. That's interesting. This side though, the foundation, has went really patchy on my forehead. And it's clung to round my nose and round my mouth really badly. Eyeshadow. That's what we need to move on to next. I'm going to be using the Soft Palette because um, oh, I've done a look with this before on this channel. I wanted to use it because um, it has a dark black in it, which most drugstore palettes don't have, so I wanted to use it. For my lighter side, I'm going to be using only the top row. For my darkest side, I'm going to be using the bottom row but probably only like these four colours because those two are a bit lighter. So this is eyeshadow palette we're going to be using and I'm going to try and create two looks out of it. They're not going to look similar because I don't have similar colours to work with, but I'm going to try and create two decent looks out of it.
Oh, so that's the eyes done. This side I really, really like. Um, I'll tell you what I did actually. So, I put the shades. I put the shade Pancake in my crease. Oh my god, you can see me. Hey! I put the shade Pancake in my crease. Then I put Cup of Tea in my crease, blended it into my inner corner and half of my lid. Then the rest of my lid I put on Fairy Lights. And then in my inner corner I put Penguin. Really like that eye look. It matches my jumper quite well. The other side. I started off by putting strawberry sweets in my crease and I was like oh my god this shade is so pretty so I was originally just going to put festive flame on my lid and then I realised that's not very dark that's still quite bright so I put some of mug cake in my crease then a tiny bit of nightmare which is the black in my crease and then I blended the nightmare into my ulch corner and in and then I put festive flame on my lid but it just ended up an absolute mess so I mean you live and learn you live and learn and I put some mascara on because this I, I've just got black mascara now time for lips I do have a lipstick then a liquid lipstick but these are my lightest and my darkest so my lightest is the makeup revolution lipstick in the one and my darkest is the Revlon Ultra HD lipstick in the shade a tr a tr a tran a transy or something so and my lips swollen up here in the middle so apologies about that okay so this is a finished look um uh, I prefer the lighter side because they're my shades but like the contour blush and highlight on this side wasn't that bad. The lipstick wasn't that bad because obviously I wear it normally. The eyeshadow, well I mean I would wear this palette normally and maybe not these colours combined but I'd certainly wear it. Um, but I do much prefer this side. So, I mean, <laughs> I am actually quite surprised because there isn't too much of a difference. Maybe just foundation and concealer, eyebrows, and that's really it. Like, it isn't a stark, like, black-white. It's more like a gradient effect, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, this is a finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not take it like I'm trying to... I don't know. It's just for fun, okay? It's just for fun. But I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, and subscribe to see more challenges. And because it's a new year, new start, new subscription box, which I could be in. Maybe. Yeah. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.